Hey, my name is Russ Frustick, and today I want to walk you through some of what I consider to be the very best perks in Far Cry 5. If you are stumped on where to spend perks, these should be the perks you get as quickly as possible. First off, additional holster. All right, so it costs eight skill points, which I realize is a lot early on in the game, but early on in the game, you really only have two weapons. You've got your primary weapon and you've got a sidearm. It's usually like an assault rifle and a pistol combo. Trust me when I say it is not enough. Uh, the assault rifle can handle like mid-range encounters, pistol can handle like short-range encounters. You want something long-range, you want something explosive, you really want a lot of variety in Far Cry 5, and additional holster will give you that. All it does, very simply, is let you carry another primary weapon. This can be anything, it can be a bow, it can be a rocket launcher, whatever you pick. You will not go wrong, so long as it's a little bit different from what your other primary weapon is. Um, it is extremely helpful, no doubt about it. This should be the first perk you get. Uh, you will get skill points very quickly in the game, especially if you're completing challenges, and you'll get eight in no time flat. So don't worry about wasting them. Definitely go here first. Number two, the parachute. Obviously, parachutes are good. You'll spend a decent amount of time in the air in Far Cry 5, especially later on in the game, you'll get helicopters. But even when you're on the ground, you'll find cliff sides and stuff like that that you can just leap off of. And having a parachute that you can open and close at will is a huge time saver. Uh, you don't have to like clamor around cliff sides or anything like that. You just open it and glide to safety. It's also only one skill point, which is nothing, and you'll get that immediately. So feel free to just unlock this. Don't even worry about it. It's worth continuing down the skill tree to unlock the next perk, which is the wingsuit. If you've played a Far Cry game before, you know how tremendously useful the wingsuit is. It lets you uh, go horizontal, whereas the parachute by and large pretty much just lets you go down. Um, and it will increase your speed, mobility, everything. You will definitely make use of it. And it's only, again, a, a rather paltry amount of skill points, so not worth stressing about. All right, before we move on, I wanted to mention one more skill in this tree. Essentially, whenever you fast travel, you can decide to fast travel to the ground. You'll instantly start on the ground. Or you can airdrop fast travel and you'll start in the air. This is awesome if you want to explore new areas you haven't been in yet, because you can basically pick a spot that you have been in, airdrop in, wingsuit your way to the next area that you haven't been to, and explore that area kind of from the air. Uh, it's extremely quick. I use it all the time. It kind of takes over the game. Uh, you'll drive fewer vehicles. You'll need fewer helicopters. You will absolutely love this perk. All right, the next perk you really want to unlock is Sneaky Sprint. The default crouch movement speed is extremely slow, comically slow even. And Far Cry 5 really encourages stealth. You want to stay crouched for a lot of the encounters, especially if you don't want to be spotted. And moving at a snail's pace is a real drag. Sneaky Sprint improves this speed dramatically. It felt like I was going about twice as fast. Um, so if you're a stealth player, absolutely great pick. Very easy to make. Only four skill points too, so very cheap. All right, next perk we'd recommend is Takedown Mastery. Once again, this is a stealth perk, highly recommended if you want to be sneaky. Although you start the game with a standard takedown move, Takedown Mastery unlocks a variety of special takedowns, including some particularly fancy ones where you throw your weapon at someone's head. It's really good for taking down small groups as quietly as possible. The last perk I'd recommend is the Grapple. It's a really cheap perk at only one skill point, and it provides a lot of utility. For one thing, almost all the prepper stashes in the game require the grappling hook to access or complete. Usually it's climbing into a cave or something of that nature. Um, so you're definitely gonna wanna get this. The prepper stashes reward you with skill points, so you'll earn back the skill point that you spent on it in no time flat. The other benefit of the grappling hook is that you can use it to get up to higher areas. Uh, one in particular is a helicopter. As a matter of fact, there is a friend, one of the uh, companions in the game, Adelaide, that comes in in a helicopter, and she'll kind of hover above you, and you can latch onto the bottom of her helicopter and climb up and into the helicopter, or just kind of dangle on the bottom of it like MacGyver. It's awesome. If you're playing in co-op, this works too, so if your buddy is flying a helicopter, you can just latch onto the bottom of it, climb on in, and there's no need for them to land. It's really, really useful and super fun. So once you get those perks, the rest are really up to you and your play style and your chosen weapons. If you're using assault rifles a lot, obviously you might want more ammo or faster reload times. 
The game is generous enough with skill points that there's really no need to stress about where you're spending them so long as you keep an eye on the challenges, you will be A-OK. -okay. Good luck in Hope County and we wish you all the best.